I actually don't like the product at all. Hi everybody, my name is Isa and this is Moody Eye Makeup channel. Today I'm gonna talk about new release from Catrice, which is Mystic Forest and some other bits. If you're interested, then please keep on watching, but before, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So let's start with the first product, Illuminizing Primer. It looks really beautiful. It looks like a high-end product. We just need to try it on. You can see that it has like a gold swirl inside. It looks like almost like a DNA. You have a pump and when you pump it out, it comes out gold and glittery. I think that this gold is just too yellowy and you can actually see it on the skin. The glitters are just too big and chunky. At first, the formula is really nice and hydrating, and then later it becomes a little bit tacky, which is a good thing for a primer. But actually, as a dry skin person, I don't think this is hydrating enough. And the glitters, like the gold shimmers glitters, are so obvious. You don't get like more dewy finish, it doesn't help you with skin looking more, more healthy. You can just see that glitter sitting on top the skin. So yeah, I actually don't like the product at all. I was super excited for it because I thought it's going to give me like this dewy, a little bit gold skin finish. Especially if you have some kind of a dry patches, some other issues with your skin, you should avoid this product. It's just sitting on top everything. I hope you can see that, but I'm not sure because sometimes camera cannot pick up everything. I done a review on this foundation. You can check it out if you're interested. So I'm just gonna slap on this product and then we will continue. Also, the primer doesn't come through the foundation and it doesn't help you with foundation in any way, so I don't know why would you use it. If you already tried it and you think that it works for you, then great. I just think that it's really one of the worst primers that I have ever tried. Now let's continue with the product that it's actually not from Mystic Forest release, but it's a completely new eyeshadow primer and it's an interesting one. So it's called Grip to Last eyeshadow primer. You get eight milliliters. It has a doe foot applicator and then it's a clear primer, gel-like. Yeah. I don't like clear eyeshadow primers um, because I like to cover the dark skin on my eyelids and also the veins. That's the first thing that is bother me, bothering me. Then, even though that I've wore it yesterday for a full day, I'm not sure what my thoughts are because usually this kind of a more silicone gillish eye primers I really don't like. Yesterday my eyeshadow wore all right. I didn't have like major problems with it whatsoever. But also I've applied on top of this one another product that I'm gonna talk about and I need to just try it with some other eyeshadows to really set my opinion on it. It becomes a little bit tacky, which is a good thing. It's easy to blend out. I'm on a hunt for a really good eyeshadow primer in a drugstore. For now, the best one, in my opinion, is from Milani. But I would like to have something like from Urban Decay Potion, Potion, something like eyeshadow primer potion, something similar but for just a few bucks. If you have any recommendations then please comment down below. Right now it doesn't feel like a bad product, it feels like a solid eyeshadow primer, but my preference is to have something that is going to even out the skin right there and create like a nice base for my eyeshadows. And then let's check out this really interesting new blush. This one is from Mystic Forest and it's a cream blush in the shade Purple Touch. And does it remind you of a certain makeup brand? Hint, hint, KVD. It's so interesting because this whole new packaging, it's so not Catrice, also the eyeshadow. It's nice, it's something different. Like it's not my style, this 
more gothic type of um, packaging but I really like the eyeshadow I think this one looks great this is a very interesting formula because it's not liquidy it's not creamy but it's balmy and it's this such a dark dark grape like shade you don't need to be scared of this very dark plummy shade because it's so balmy it's sheer as well but you can build it up so i actually really like the formula i really like this blush i was surprised i thought i'm not gonna love it because it's not dewy enough for me but actually it works like a watercolor almost and the color is just gorgeous for this time of the year it's so hard to find this kind of a shade in a drugstore for just a few bucks so i'm quite excited about this product i think that they could have this formula in their regular line and they should release like so many different shades because i think this is actually a winning formula for this price tag it's so easy to apply it's not patchy you can build it up yeah it's amazing so i've applied a little bit too much so you can really see the shade it has this really beautiful, almost wintry effect. Then I got my hands on only one shade from two because it was like totally sold out. And this is the Mystic Forest Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow in Enchanting Lights. It's a very interesting shade. I love the packaging. I think this is gorgeous. And also it does look like a drugstore. You get this Doford applicator. And what I love about this shade, it's not like a pure gold, but it's almost like olive tone gold, or I believe they call it like antique gold. Oh, it's something a little bit different. Again, something that it's harder to find in a drugstore market. Um, so I ab absolutely love this shade. I'm just gonna use my finger to blend it out, but it's chunky. It's super chunky. It has really big glitters shimmers inside i would say that it has like a gold and silver shimmers or glitters i actually don't mind these big chunky glitters as long as as it doesn't fall underneath my eyes i have to report that it doesn't yesterday i didn't have any not even a single glitter underneath my eyes so the formula it's actually quite good and I love the shade. So because I have this new eyeshadow primer underneath and this new formula from eyeshadow, I cannot vouch for any of these two to be really, really good because I'm not sure if the combination of these two is great or if one of these is a really good formula that it doesn't budge or both are great. I'm not sure. So I will keep you up dated so you don't miss that please subscribe and click the bell button next to it so you can be notified when i upload also but only please if you can it's like a hard button underneath with a thanks button something like that you can help me out with a small donation it can be like for a coffee you know like only if you can really so that's the shade I love it how unique it is and different and also festive um, yeah I love it and I think it actually goes really great with this blush because it's unexpected okay so I'm gonna just mattify a little bit my face with this new powder this is bright and blur loose powder I've already done a review on this one you can check out that video so I'm just gonna quickly do that it's a pink powder if you're curious I've already mentioned like a nudist pan lipstick in a pan formula. I love that product so much and that was the first lip type of product from Catrice that I actually like because I don't like their lip formulas at all. Here is another one and this is uh, another new lip formula. It's Care in Colors Lip Balm and I picked out the darkest shade which is it's with Chia Butter. It's supposed to be hydrating and I'm just gonna use a lip liner before. So you can see that it has quite a lot of pigment to it but keep in mind this is the darker shade. So you will get less pigment with other other shades this shade comes 
hand in hand with the blush it just works out great i will say that it's not hydrating it's really creamy it's super creamy it looks almost glossy but your lips stay underneath dry so i wouldn't rely on these to help you with hydration this is like a really creamy lipstick where there's no properties for hydrating your lips so your lips underneath stay super super dry so you need to hydrate before using the product i would say this is like a false advertising for the product otherwise i love the shade i think it looks really nice it smooth out my lip lines so yeah if that bothers you i i'm just letting you know so you have all the informations before buying the product quick recap from one to ten how much i would give each product one i have to get back to you with this one but for now i, I would give it like a six blush nine eyeshadow eight and the lip balm like five i hope i helped you in some way so if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to like subscribe click the bell button next to it so you can be notified when i upload and as i've already mentioned you can click the thanks button underneath and you can donate something really small for this channel to grow i'm always happiest when i can read your comments so please don't forget to do so have a lovely day and see you in my next video